council member Mitch O'Farrell is serious about getting fit. So serious, he's got a running challenge with the children in his district. Anna Marcos takes us to his yearly fitness challenge and gets a workout herself. A bit of fresh air and exercise does a body good. That's the idea behind Councilmember Mitch O'Farrell's annual fitness challenge. He has invited about 100 fifth graders from schools in his district for a morning of fun and fitness. It makes me feel tired and good because it's healthy for me. Olympian silver medalist Danny Harris has the kids revving up with hamstring stretches and warm-ups. You don't have to be a great athlete to be in shape. You don't even have to be an athlete to be in shape. All you have to do is have the desire to be fit and to be healthy. Today's menu of fitness challenges includes running, soccer, and gymnastics, or some form of it. Fitness needs to come from fun. And if you have fun your whole life being fit, you're going to keep fit and you're going to keep going and stay healthy. Want to make kids smarter? Have them do a few tumbles, flips, and jumps. I'm long out of school age, but it's never too late to get fit. Let's see how I do. Experts say getting fit just might also make you smarter, healthier, and more successful. For Councilmember O'Farrell, it's a critical part of helping kids in his district get healthier, both physically and academically. It would just be smart for school systems across the state to invest more heavily, or invest at all, in physical fitness. That is equal parts um, of a curriculum as important as math or science or anything else. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. I couldn't do the cartwheels, but when, since the, there were handprints on it, when I put my hands in the handprints, they seemed easier. Yeah, so you got better, right? Yes. So there it is. The secret to health, happiness, and a smart brain just might lie in popping out a few cartwheels or maybe landing one of these flips. Okay, don't try it at home. Councilmember Mitch O'Farrell is a trained gymnast, but just a little bit of exercise at whatever level you're at can go a long way. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. Kids from five local schools took part in the challenge.